Okay, welcome to Perception. Um, this course is co-taught by both a neuroscientist and an artist, and we have a wonderful uh, you know, set of undergraduate and graduate teaching assistants that'll be uh, you know, uh, here for you, uh, you know, throughout this, um, this term. Uh, so perception, of course, involves the routing, identification, and interpretation you know, of energy and information in our environment. And that environment includes both the external environment, uh, but also the internal environment, the environment of you, your internal, your internal self, your body. Uh, and, you know, typically, you know, it, 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 when, it's at, when things are going relatively well, it actually, uh, you know, begins with sort of detection you know, to some extent, you know, it's going to be influenced by what you're expecting in various environments and prior experience in various environments. But there are, you know, physiological mechanisms, um, specialized neurons, specialized cells, sensory cells that can detect different aspects of the external and internal environment, different energies, different stimuli, and um, translate that detection into the language of neurons, which we're going to see in this class is electrochemical. Um, and so we're going to be investigating, you know, the specific physiological mechanisms of these various sensory cells uh, that underlie our detection of, you know, what we will ultimately see and hear and taste and smell and feel. Um, and we'll also be examining, you know, the, the CNS, the central nervous system networks that are involved in you know, discrimination of different perceptual experiences, um, the interpretation, you know, of what we are detecting, um, and more complex cognitive responses. And we're going to also look in this class at how these critical and adaptive networks um, that allow us to see, hear, you know, smell, taste, how they develop and how they're, they're, they're actually dependent on developmental experience. You can't actually organize, um, you know, networks in your brain in ways that will let you see hear or, you know, um, feel, unless you have early uh, exposure to electromagnetic radiation in the range of visible light or to sound waves. Um, you, your ears have to be functioning to develop an ability ultimately to perceive, you know, the sound that may be striking, um, you know, in the inner ear. Um, we're going to also see how these networks that do develop and are dependent on development, how they, are, they can be influenced by drugs and also um, by the inevitable decay of a lot of these systems and how um, even with the decay of the inputs, of the actual sensory afferent inputs into the brain, the areas in the brain that allow for your rich perceptual experiences may persist. Um, and so you can have and retain the ability to have powerful you know, perceptual experiences even in the absence of you know, direct sensory detection. Um, we're also going to explore in this class how artists have approached, understood, and integrated aspects of sensory detection and perception into often extraordinary works that, you know, compel, that move, that inspire, and affect our understanding of ourselves and of our world. Um, and during this course, you're going to have the opportunity to create objects that are designed to help you, you know, reflect on and understand the concepts that we'll be discussing throughout this term. Um, I want to say a couple quick um, kind of organizational, uh, you know, things here. One, the course online is organized in weeks. So there are these weekly modules. You can see to the left, hopefully, these weekly modules. Um, and you should click on week one, right, which is introduction, uh, to get started. And this is very important. When you click on week one, you know, um, you have to click, click on each of the week one subsections then in turn. So, uh, you know, right under, you know, week one there, it says, when you click on it, it says, join Zoom class Monday. And that's what we're going to be doing, uh, you know, this first week. And then click on important course information. That'll open up and make accessible all the content uh, for each of these topics. So again, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for taking it. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you a lot this term.